everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name's Caitlin and today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in probably over a year. No. Yeah, I think it's like been nearly a year since I've done any makeup releases but I just want to kind of have a chat with you guys about new makeup releases. A lot of Christmas stuff is starting to come out now and a lot of stuff is intriguing me and I just need you guys to talk me out of it basically, that's why I'm here. Talk me out of it guys. <laughs> but just before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me and yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on trend mood first. I think I'm probably gonna go on a, a few different Instagram accounts just to see, you know. Okay, so the first, I'll budge up. I'll budge up. Oh, we've got my bag in the background. We've got so much stuff in the background. Jesus, my bed is a mess. I'm so sorry. Okay, so the first thing we have is a new Glam Light palette. I've never actually tried Glam Light before. I know there was some controversy around Glam Light, like something happened. I think Paulena Beauty spoke about it. I don't really know, but something happened with Glam Light. There was some issue with Glam Light that people were talking about, but I, I can't remember what it was. This is a Dirty Martini palette. I think it's quite cute. I mean, I'm wearing greens today full green you know go big or go home i like it i would have liked it to go a little bit darker there are a lot of shimmers in this as well I, f I feel like that like brown at the bottom row in the middle there's nothing to kind of blend that out with so you're just kind of there with the brown i feel like the brown could have been gotten rid of to be honest i when i see a palette i like to think what would i blend it out with like what shade would i blend that with what shade goes with what I mean, yeah, that brown is really throwing me off. I wouldn't want to use that brown, but I mean, hey ho. I've never tried Glam Light's formula before. I've heard it's quite good. So yeah, if you're into this, then maybe give it a go. Next is BH. I'm, oh, yeah, I don't like it. This is, B they've collaborated with someone. Who is it? Doja Cat. I don't know who that is. Um, I feel quite old because I feel like I should know who that is. I have absolutely no idea who that is. But I mean, I, it's a colourful palette, which I should love because I love colour, but this is just something that I just don't appreciate. I was going to say like the little blushes look quite nice, but I mean, no, they don't. I've looked at them for more than two seconds and I've gone, no, actually, I, I actually could do without them. So, <laughs> oops. I don't think I've tried BH's eyeshadow formula before, but Angelica Nikivist raves about it so i mean am i missing out or am i am i okay without it if you've tried them let me know because i who knows i don't know oh this is so stupid i feel like wayne goss like i know he's a prestigious makeup artist i know he's like up there but like what is this what is this like, I I promise you, you have got all of these shades a million times over in your collection. This is nothing special at all. It's like a ready, neutral palette with one matte in it. You're not going to do a lot with that. One matte, a few satins, I think like maybe two shimmers and two pencils. This, and I haven't seen the price yet, I already know that this is going to be like a small loan. Let's have a look at the price. It doesn't say the price. It's just something that I'm just not interested in. And, you know, I hear people go, oh God, that's so boring. When like Anastasia comes out with the same palette and then Wayne Goss comes out and they're all like, oh my God, it's so, so good. It's so initiative. It's so this, it's so that. Like it's the same palette as the new ABH palette that was leaked. It's so similar and you're raving about this and you're bashing the little Primrose palette. Make up your mind. Anyway. Okay, this Revolution collection, what, I quite like it, okay? I do, I quite like, not the little like brown palette, the, that can go. This little blue nine pound palette, how cute is that? If you've never played with blues before, if you're scared of blues, this palette is perfect for you. It'll be inexpensive. I mean, the quality probably isn't as good as, you know, ABH and NARS and all that. You know, it probably won't be as good. But if you're just dipping your toe into colour, if you're just dipping your toe into blues, this palette 
would be so perfect for you. It's got all the shades you need to blend out with, a few shimmers, it's beautiful. I, I mean, I'm biased because I love blue. I will put blue on my eyes every day of the week if I could. I really would. Um, but oh, I like it. I really do. And then the bigger palette is quite cute as well. I don't do pink, even though I've got pink in my inner corner today. I'm a hypocrite. Sue me. Um, but I don't really reach for pink every day. I had a pink in my... Well, I had two pinks at once in my Pantless eyeshadows, and that was torture. That was my idea of hell. So pinks for me not not brilliant but for other people for a little palette if you're dipping into color this i love this i think it's really cute and then the artwork as well i think they've done well and i don't say that a lot about revolution but i think they've done well on this okay um urban decay on the other hand they didn't get the memo this is the urban decay marvel collection this is exactly the same as the Game of Thrones collection. This is a cash grab. This looks like every palette that came out in 2010. This is a neutral palette with a pop of blue uh, with crazy packaging. I mean, it's the same concept of the Game of Thrones palette. They take something that people love, they make a generic palette with packaging that is way too over the top, and then they're like, here you go Marvel fans. He get Game of Thrones fans, buy this. And I have the Game of Thrones palette, okay? So, hypocrite, again, hello. I have the Game of Thrones palette. I've used it twice since I bought it, but I can't throw it away because I love Game of Thrones, seasons like one to six, but I love Game of Thrones so much, I fell into this trap. <laughs> Wholeheartedly, I fell into this trap with Game of Thrones, and I love Marvel, but I'm not doing that. Anyway, that's my little rant over. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. <sighs> As a collector I can understand it, if you love Marvel I can understand it, but if you're buying this for the actual palette, I'd pass. Just pass. Please. It, it won't be worth it. Colourpop, Hocus Pocus. I've never watched Hocus Pocus. Halloween wasn't that much of a thing when I was growing up, like me and my brother used to dress up, but like it wasn't like a massive celebration. The adults didn't do anything, it was just for the kids really. So I never watched Hocus Pocus, but this is round two. And I watched a Gabby, an Abby, what's her name? Abby Wilson, I think she's called. And she like loves Halloween. She loves Hocus Pocus. And she redesigned this palette and she did such a better job. This again, this looks like a rejigged version of that Urban Decay Marvel palette. It's a lot of brown. And like I've heard things through the grapevine about Hocus Pocus. It's meant to be like this dark, grungy, fun movie. And this is like mostly neutrals with a bit of blue and a bit of purple. I just wish Colourpop had like, oh. They have great, they get the rights to some amazing things. And I think, to be honest, because they, like, they've boasted before about how quickly they can get product on the shelves, I think the design, not even the design, because the packaging is always beautiful, but, like, the actual palette design is always, like, a bit rushed. I don't know. Mm, am I allowed to say that? Okay, Morphe Sour Patch Kids. Why do I actually quite like this? I won't buy it. I'm definitely not going to buy it. My hair's still wet because I had a shower. Anyway. No, I definitely won't buy it, but I think it's quite cute. I very recently tried Sour Patch Kids. I like them. And my boyfriend nicked them all. Dan, if you're watching this, leave my Sour Patch Kids alone. He ate all the good ones and left me with all the bad ones, which... True love. True love. <laughs> anyway, no, as I said, I'm not picking this up because it is a very generic rainbow palette. But, like, it's quite cute. I, I can appreciate it. Sigma. I've never tried Sigma. Never tried Sigma. Am I missing out? Let me know. They've collaborated with Cinderella. I don't like the palette. I think it's a bit jambled. It's a bit mismatched. Again, my brain is going, what can I blend that out with? And not much. Like that dark blue, what can you blend that out with? Nothing. Um, that dark purple, what can you blend that out with? Nothing. Uh, that's how I think about palettes and that's how I think about palettes. But the blush and highlighter duo, that's really cute. 
I do quite like that. I'm not a Disney princess person, I'm more of like the Disney animals person. You know, like Lion King, 101 Dimensions, Jungle Book, that kind of thing. Can we have more collaborations with that? Like a Lion King collaboration. Can we please have like Colourpop Lion King? I would sell my soul for that. And I know it's going to be a neutral palette because it's Lion King, but like I would buy it. <laughs> I love Lion King so much. Right, Pat McGrath. Uh, never tried Pat McGrath either. The more you know. Um, this, I don't like it. I've never worn to Pat McGrath, ever. I just don't get the hype. I mean, I've never tried the palettes, so maybe the palettes are like amazing quality, but the colour story wise, I've just never got it. I mean, this is my makeup aesthetic. I don't think Pat McGrath follows that. I think they're more neutrals. But I mean, this has pops of colour in it. But I still don't like it, and I still know it's going to be half my student loan, so nope. <laughs> okay, the new House Labs. Ah, oh, this had such a good concept. A Lady Gaga makeup brand. Wow. Do you remember how excited we were for that? A Lady Gaga makeup brand? And we get this. Wow. This is all browns with a green two purples and a red. Oh. I mean that stupid love palette, I remember when she came out with that and that was like, oh okay, that's kind of different. I mean, but it's Lady Gaga. This is the woman who wore a meat dress. This is the woman who is like, whoa. And she's coming out with this? I, f like Lady Gaga has nothing to do with this brand. I will die on that hill. Like I, Oh. Okay, this is the ABH palette that I was talking about. It got leaked and this is the same as that Wayne Goss palette. It's the same, but because it's ABH, everyone's like, eh, this is disgusting. This is horrible. Oh my God, it's awful. Which like it is, yeah, but so is that Wayne Goss and everyone's going, oh my God, that's so cool. I love that, like full vibes. Um, No, it's the same palette. Stop having a bias. Even though you may not like ABH, Stop being rude. Anyway, yeah, I don't like this palette. Uh, the blush and bronzer is very white. So half the population can't use it, which is great. Um, but I mean, it's fine. This is like modern renaissance grew up into a middle-aged woman, I think. Um, uh, but I still don't like it. I don't want this. I'm sure many people would. It looks all right, but like I'm, I don't want this. Oh, Too Faced. <sighs> Can we stop with, with this? These little eight pan palettes. I've heard the quality is abysmal. And I mean, just look at it. It's not, it's not great, is it? It's a, fr this is another one that Abby like recreated and it just looks so much better with a little bit of thought behind it. This is the same as everything they've ever done before and that's sad but it's true it's the same as everything all of their little mini palettes look like this and it's a shame but it's so true oh i'm not even gonna talk about that jeffree star release because i don't want to give him the time or my breath okay so i'm moving on to some indie brands now i'm going on indie makeup spotlight because let's give indie brands a try so there are new shades coming out from dandelions co uh these look quite cute actually like the little single shadows I, i'm getting into single shadows they're very grungy very halloweeny i would have liked to see maybe like a dirty yellow that like a dirty yellow shimmer would have gone with these so well but I think they're quite nice. These like, that grungy purple, the cool tone grungy purple, matte, looks so beautiful. They're $4.50 each, which this is what I'm talking about. Why do anyone buy, why does anyone buy high end stuff anymore when indie brands are coming out with this? Love that. Adept is coming out with a new palette. This isn't for me, I'm not a purple person. It's kind of like the Norvina palette. It's giving me Norvina vibes, but I mean, these swatches just look absolutely insane. Like that middle shimmer. Oh my God, wow. I just find that like, indie shadows are so much more impactful for a lower price. Well, sometimes the prices are like, ugh. but like most of the time, you know? And like, oh, they're so much more creative. Like, I just love this. What's this? Menagerie Cosmetics. 
I can't get menagerie in England, but hey ho. This is beautiful. I might try and dupe this in my collection. If you are if you want a video of me duping palettes, let me know, because this is beautiful. This is the ink palette. It's like blue with like warm tones. It reminds me of the, what's that melt palette called? The Muerte palette. If you were interested in that, because you can't get the Muerte anymore, this looks beautiful as well. It's got added kind of yellow tones to it. This is pretty. This is so beautiful. This is like fall, summer to fall, summer to autumn vibes. I love it so much. I mean, it's got a blue in it, so I'm gonna love it. So Midas Cosmetics X Chloe MUA. Uh, this obviously isn't for me, but if you're after a neutrals palette from an indie brand, here you go. This is $34, which is a little bit expensive. I think that's a bit steep, but I mean, you're supporting an indie brand, which is ethically better. And I've heard that Midas are very, very good quality. I've never tried them myself, but there you go. If you are looking for a new neutrals palette, I would 100% recommend supporting indie brands over big brands. It's just something that I'm, I'm passionate about. These look so nice. Oh my God. These are Odin's Eye, the new collection. They've collaborated with the Fancy Face, Annette's Makeup Corner, Corner and Judy. The fir these first two, obviously the neutral palette is not as my style, but the f these first two look so beautiful. Wow. I saw Angelica Nyquist's video on these. They just look so beautiful. Oh my God, and the concept. Wow, I love it when a concept and a color story and good quality come together and it all just makes one beautiful little baby. Oh my God, that's my dream. I love it so much. They're not too big, not too small, absolutely perfect size, 12 pound palettes, all of them. They are cohesive. You can find something to blend everything out. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. If you want me to make this like a regular thing, let me know because I'm definitely up for that. I will do that. Uh, it's, it's just nice to see what people are bringing out what's a dupe of each other, what indie brands are bringing out because I feel like indie brands are kind of finding their feet a little bit more and I'm so happy. I'm so happy that indie brands are like coming back. I love that. Anyway, let me know what you're most excited for in the comments below and also like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. Let me know if you want this to be a regular thing because as I said, I'm more than happy to do that. Stay safe guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.